Hello, uh, welcome to this short recording to share a high-level overview that will answer introductory questions as to the benefits and the value that EMV payment tokenization brings to the payment community and the role that EMV Co plays in this. EMV Co is a technical body that enables card-based payments to work seamlessly and securely worldwide. It delivers on this mission by developing specifications and supporting testing, certification, and marks programs for products that enable the delivery of consistent and convenient payments for merchants, businesses, and consumers around the world. Key to EMV Co's work is close collaboration with the payments industry to adapt and evolve these specifications to continue to support technology innovations, the needs of different marketplaces, and changes in consumer behavior. EMV specifications provide a common foundation for adopting technologies proven to increase security and fight fraud, and are flexible enough to accommodate the unique needs of different marketplaces and support continuing innovation. The specifications are developed in collaboration with the payments industry and organizations around the world, including banks, merchants, vendors, and national and regional payment networks that use EMV specifications to develop and deploy products and services that will work together seamlessly and securely for in-store, online, and remote card-based payments. EMV specifications are made available on a royalty-free basis on the EMV Co website. And if you would like to find out more about EMV Co and how we operate, please visit our website. EMV payment tokenization enhances transaction security by removing the most valuable data to a fraudster from within the transaction, the primary account number or PAN. And this is replaced with a unique alternative value, the payment token. Payment tokens support both face-to-face -face and remote payments transactions. This reduces the value of payments information stolen in the event of a data breach or compromise as a payment token should not be able to be used beyond the environment or ecosystem in which it was intended. Payment tokens can be constrained in how and where they are used to prevent their use outside of specific defined parameters. For example, a payment token can be constrained for use at a single merchant, whereby any attempt to use that payment token in a transaction at another merchant will fail. Equally, other constraints, such as the transaction only being able to originate from a specific consumer device or only for a specific type of transaction, such as remote or e-commerce versus uh, in-person face-to-face transactions, are also possible. EMV payment tokenization offers card issuers, their cardholders and merchants the ability to increase protection of payment data throughout a transaction, increasing overall security. For merchants, using EMV payment tokenization to replace PAN can make them less of a criminal target and enable any payment data compromise impacts to be minimized. This potentially reduces costs associated with storing and protecting PANs. For cardholders and issuers, the impact from any data compromise affecting EMV payment tokens will be much less than if the underlying card number or PAN had been exposed. Issuers can also reduce card replacement and leverage the ability to control and replace EMV payment tokens for specific merchants, devices or transactions, often without any interaction or imposition on the cardholder. EMV payment tokenization. This enables a payment token to be used in a payment transaction from point of purchase via the acquirer and then passing across the payments network through to payment authorization by the card issuer. This offers the benefit of payment tokenization throughout the entire payment process. It has the ability to coexist with other forms of tokenization, support all forms of use case, and importantly, is applicable in any environment which currently uses a PAM. Other forms of tokenization typically do not pass across the entire payment network and can happen at different points within the payment process. For example, within the merchant environment, tokenization can happen between just the merchant and the acquirer. EMV payment tokens remain compatible with these other forms of tokenization, such as acquirer and or security tokens, and both solutions can work together and coexist 
no party from within the payment community is precluded from using and accessing EMV payment tokenization and realizing these benefits of the technology. So what are the industry benefits of EMV payment tokenization? Security. It offers card issuers, their card holders and merchants the ability to increase protection of payment data, increasing overall security. This means that for card holders and issuers, the impact from data compromise and of payment tokens will be much less than if the card number or PAN had been exposed. This can reduce the need for card replacements and leverage the ability to control and replace just payment tokens for specific merchants, devices or transaction types, often without any interaction from the cardholder. In terms of user convenience, for cardholders, the payment process is not impacted and existing behavior does not need to change. It continues to be familiar, convenient and seamless, while supporting innovative new ways to pay, such as mobile payment applications, in-app and QR codes. This is due to EMV payment tokenization using the existing payments infrastructure and its ability to maintain compatibility with face-to-face -face and remote card payments technology. In terms of innovation, as an EMV payment token limits potential risk from payment data compromise, it prevents the development of new payment technology and scenarios where the risk might otherwise be too high to use the PAN. This has enabled solutions such as mobile payment applications, also known as digital wallets, to scale and provide the ability to support high value transactions, offering consumer and merchant payment convenience. Additionally, as EMV payment tokenization uses the existing acceptance infrastructure technology, merchants, cardholders, and others within the ecosystem can benefit from enabling a new payment technology with no or only limited modifications required to those existing systems and processes. In terms of flexibility, it offers flexibility on how EMV payment tokens can be implemented to meet global or different regional requirements without compromising the integrity of the existing EMV infrastructure. Also, it provides the ability to coexist with other forms of tokenization to support all use cases and is applicable in any environment which currently uses a card number or PAN. So, what is the role of EMV Co in delivering EMV payment tokenization? EMV Co publishes and maintains the EMV payment tokenization specification technical framework. That's the technical document which defines the roles, functions and requirements that need to be adhered to when introducing EMV payment tokens to work within an existing or new payment ecosystem. This ensures that they overlay and interoperate and across the entire infrastructure. The framework provides implementers with a common foundation that can be adapted to different use cases as an enabler to deliver payments, regional or country specific implementation requirements, and to differentiate products and promote innovation by enabling solutions to upscale and be used by mass markets. For example, mobile payment applications, ride share applications, general in-app purchases, and additional security on top of QR code payments. The technical framework also defines payment account reference or PAR as a way to link transactions that use EMV payment tokens with the underlying PAN for which the payment tokens have been issued. This enables support for value-added services, such as fraud screening, anti-money laundering monitoring, some PAN-based loyalty systems, and new use cases such as transit. A guide to use cases supplements the technical framework, which details industry input and guidance on new ways in which EMV payment tokens can be used. The document shows all possible relationships that may exist and so sets the stage for individual use cases where some relationships will vary or may not be present at all. It also covers potential participants from existing payment ecosystems as well as the new payment tokenization roles to show the potential participants operating within the policies and processes of a token program. 
The purpose is to try to bring the token framework to life with real world examples that should be familiar to people with payment industry backgrounds. However, because the framework is very flexible, we have to show things from the relationship angle as well as specific sets of flows, as flows do not prescribe how something should work. They show just one possible way the use case could work. The variations are used to still further bring to life possible use cases that build, expand or vary on one of the main six use cases initially described. The separate sections on payment tokenization lifecycle, on payment account reference, PAR, also show examples of how these capabilities might work to expand upon the framework language used in the official technical framework. Lastly, there is a section showing how EMV payment tokens can interoperate with other EMV technologies, specifically EMV 3D Secure and EMV Secure Remote Commerce or SRC. This is to provide a demonstration of how these technologies can be used together and is explained with some specific use case examples of how they could be used. So, in EMV Co's role in delivering EMV payment tokenization, EMV Co manages two registration programs, Token Service Provider or TSP registration program, where EMV Co manages and assigns TSP code numbers worldwide to ensure that each TSP issuing EMV payment tokens is globally uniquely identifiable. And the BIN controller registration program, where EMV Co manages and assigns BIN controller ID or BCID numbers worldwide to ensure that within the supporting context of EMV payment tokens, they can effectively implement PAR without clashes or conflicts using the globally unique EMV Co assigned BIN controller ID. Both of these programs ensure traceability and support EMV payment tokenization transparency. For EMV payment tokenization, no testing or certification program is offered as EMV payment tokens are not contained within one area of the payment ecosystem, but overlay the entire payment infrastructure. Testing would prohibit innovation as it would require many key elements of the payment infrastructure to be continually tested and retested to support the pace of implementation and innovation. This would result in significant cost, time and complexity for all participants. So, where can you learn more? Further resources are available on the EMVCO website. Uh, please don't forget to follow EMVCO on social media and subscribe to our EMV Insights series online. You can also subscribe to our podcasts from your preferred podcast provider. Thank you for listening. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next time.